My name is Mel Tomeo, and I'm a full-time game instructor for the Magic Department at Miami-Dade College. Today in this uh, recording, we're going to be uh, using Collision to add to the timer. And we're going to be adding five seconds onto the timer that we previously made in the uh, other recording. So to pick up where we left off, we um, still have time manager game object. And when you press play, you have a timer that counts down starting at 60 seconds and counts down every second by one and it will continuously count down. So what we're going to do now is um, create a, uh, a collision with two different objects and uh, it'll add five seconds on to this timer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, import the um, standard assets package. And I already did that. I have it right here. It's the standard assets package from the assets store. And you simply do that by going to the asset store and typing in standard assets and you can download it right from there. Um, next, once you bring in that standard assets package from the Unity store, the next thing that uh, I'm going to do is create a 3D object and it's gonna be a plane. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure that this plane is in the same view as my camera and the timer. So I'm just gonna change the position to zero, zero, zero on the X, Y, and Z. Next, I'm going to bring in a third person character from that package that I downloaded from the uh, asset store in Unity. So I'm gonna click on the characters, the folder characters, third person, and then prefabs. And then I'm gonna grab this third person character here and drag them in here okay and you can see he appears right there and i'm just going to uh rotate him so he can run sideways when it's time to uh use him and the good thing about this third person character is all the scripts are already on here that control him so you don't have to create any uh, code to move it's already uh it's already a part of him okay so the next thing that i want to do is create a 3d object cube and I want to place this right in front of him so he doesn't have to go all that far. And what we want to do is when we uh, press the play button, I want the character to run into the cube and the cube will uh, de be destroyed, but also add five seconds to the timer. Okay. So uh, the next thing that I need to do is go back to the time manager and the script that we have right here, we need to uh, make it inactive. So just click the little checkbox, makes it uh, inactive. And then what I wanna do is take this script now, this countdown script and add it to the character. So to do that, you go over to, uh, click on third person controller, go over to the inspector, hit the add component, and type in countdown that's the name of the script that uh we have for the uh the timer okay and then you want to drag the timer into uh, the text into the countdown public object that we have right here okay so now if we press play the timer still works correctly now and it appears right there and it's counting down you can see it counting down every second is counting down okay and if you want you can uh, press uh, on the left right or mouse uh, on the uh, uh, on your keyboard there and you can move the uh, character around as well you can see how I'm moving around pressing the up down left uh, arrow keys okay all right so the next thing that I want to do now is um, go to this cube here and see the box collider uh, in the inspector See the uh, is trigger, we want to check that. We want to check that because that's what's going to be uh, one of the options uh, as a trigger when when uh, your character here runs into this uh, cube, it's going to create a trigger event, okay? So now let's go into that, uh, that uh, script, that countdown script. Let's go into the countdown script. 
Okay, and again, this is the same script that we used for the timer, and we're just going to add on code in this script for the uh, trigger event. All right, so the first thing that I want to do now is type void on trigger, and you can see that this right here, there's already um, a uh, method that's already built and created for trigger uh, events. And you can see, if you look over here on the right, it says on trigger enter is called when the collider other enters the trigger. Okay, so this is the uh, the method that we want. So I just double click on that and you can see that Unity already implements the object and the name of the trigger, the return type and the access and it's private, okay? So now in here, inside, uh, the method here inside these curly brackets in the method body, I want to create an if statement. Okay, so if, now if this object, so other dot game object collides um, the name, we need the name first, and, and the name of what we want it to collide with is the cube this cube here and we named it cube this is the name of it right here oops so we want to we want to um put that in our code if it collides with the name of the cube so i'm going to type with a string character cube and then end that with a semicolon okay so and again whatever you named your cube you could have renamed it and it could have been something else all right so and now, now and, uh, inside the curly brackets of the if statement, again, if that character collides with the cube object, it will come into this if statement here. And we're going to do uh, time left. This is the name of our variable that we created above equals. We're going to do plus equals five. Okay, and again, what is this doing? This is adding five on to our timer. Okay, then what I want to do is when that character collides with that cube, I want that cube to be destroyed, I don't want it to be there anymore. Okay, so um, destroy object. And how do you do that? You use a method called destroy, and you can see it popping up right here. The name of the object, other dot game object. All right. So again, so if this is true. If if the uh, object is colliding with um, cube, it will uh, add five seconds and then destroy the game object. Okay, save it, save it, come over to um, Unity here, and make sure that your cube has a trigger event, is, is uh, clicked, the checkbox is clicked. Okay, now if you press play, Again, the countdown is there, it's counting down. And if you move the character using the left uh, arrow key, you can see that the cube was destroyed and time was added on to uh, the timer. Five seconds was added on, okay? And if you want to check to make sure that your program is actually going into, that, um, into this method here, into this if statement, you can put a little debug statement here, all right? And this will print out to the console. So print out statement to the console. And you're going to type debug dot log. And inside the parameters there, we're going to say entered the if statement. Okay, so again, this will be printed out, entered the if statement, will be printed out in the console area 
which is right here in Unity. So go back, sit, make sure you save your code. Go back and uh, run it then. And now you're gonna see that when I collide with the cube, it's gonna add five seconds onto the timer and also in the console, it should print out the, uh, the words entered uh, the if statement. So let's see if it happens. So I'm about to collide with it. It added five seconds and then also here, you can see now in the console, it printed out, entered the if statement. So now I know that it went into the if statement here because it printed these words out. All right, this is great to use if uh, you're trying to uh, debug a program that has bugs or, or a coding issue and, or, and it's not like going into different loops and for loops and things like that. So that's why you would need to um, have this debug.log because you can see where the program is going and it helps print out it print it out to the console. Thank you for watching.